We're only a week or so into 2024 and Switch 2 rumors are swirling. It's worth noting that I am not a news source or a news channel or anything like that. I am simply an entertainment channel. So when I hear rumors like these, I don't just repeat what you've heard a hundred other YouTubers say. I try to find a fun new way to talk about the topics. So instead of just regurgitating the latest gossip uh, around the Nintendo console of the future, I'm going to just talk about games that I think would be cool as Nintendo Switch 2 launch titles. Now I'll go ahead and say as the recording of this video, I don't believe a name has been confirmed, whether it'll be called Nintendo Switch 2, the Nintendo Switch Pro, or something completely different, like maybe Nintendo will switch up the names. Uh, I don't think anything like that has been confirmed. So a lot of this goes in speculating that the console will be the Nintendo Switch 2, it'll be a portable console, it'll basically just be a more powerful version. Think NES, the Super NES. Um, yeah, so with that in mind, guys, I'm just going to talk about my favorite ideas for uh, Switch launch titles. None of these, almost none of these are confirmed or even in the works. So, again, take everything with a grain of salt. I just think these would be really cool. But I will go ahead and get this one out of the way. It is the most obvious one. If there's any game on this list that's going to make it, it's going to be this one. That game is, of course... Skyrim. How could it not be Skyrim? We all know Elder Scrolls 6 and Half-Life 3 are racing, competing to see which one can be released first. However, it is a console's rite of passage to have a release of Skyrim on it. Why else do you think the Wii U sold so poorly? In all seriousness though, Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch was a big deal. You took one of the best games ever and made it portable. It was mind-blowing almost a decade ago. And the other thing you got to remember, guys, is coming off the hills of the Wii U, the Nintendo Wii U had lost almost all third-party support. It was worse than the N64. I mean, people had really given up. They had lost faith in Nintendo consoles. So to come out... I mean, we didn't even really know what this Nintendo Switch thing was going to be about. And Bethesda was already putting Skyrim on it. I mean, again, Skyrim wasn't even on the Wii U, for crying out loud. Now, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure Microsoft and Bethesda's latest working relationship with Nintendo since the acquisition. Clearly, as we stated before, Bethesda was on good terms with Nintendo. And Microsoft was on good terms with Nintendo. Now that Microsoft has acquired Bethesda, I don't know if any of that has changed. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But, Nintendo does need a gripping RPG at launch. And I'd gladly take Fallout New Vegas. Another game I've seen people predict is Baldur's Gate 3. That could be a good one. I also think Elden Ring would be a really awesome Switch 2 launch title. As Nintendo fans, they just haven't got to play Elden Ring yet. Speaking of RPGs, Persona 6 being announced as a Switch 2 launch title would probably break the internet. Persona games have long-standingly been reserved for Sony consoles, but Atlas has been working with the major players to expand upon that. Persona's parent franchise, Shin Megami Tensei 5, just launched as a Nintendo Switch exclusive, while Persona 3 Remake is coming to both PlayStation and Xbox. Persona 5 really helped start breaking down walls as it started off as just a PS3 and PS4 exclusive and has slowly been moved over to the Xbox and the Switch. Meaning I think Persona 6 on Switch is a lot more likely than it seemed a decade ago. Going ahead and rounding out our RPG games is Fire Emblem. For a franchise that started off slow to get localized, it has come a long, long way. The series began on the Famicom back in 1990, but did not see a U.S. release until the GBA in 2003. Still, with their inclusion in 2001's smash hit, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Roy and Ike started to gain some notoriety. The Fire Emblem Snowball gained massive traction with later 3DS releases until it hit mainstream appeal with the countless Nintendo Switch titles and characters appearing in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Fire Emblem has had a great showing over the last 10 years or so, 
and I'd say it's earned its spot as an A-list franchise, if not S-tier, with the likes of Zelda, Pokemon, and Mario. I think it would be extremely fitting to launch the Nintendo Switch 2 with whatever the latest Fire Emblem title would be. Now, on to the big one. Metroid Prime 4. Nintendo should be fully convinced and aware of the Metroid hype, that it is out of control, that fans have suffered long enough. When Metroid Prime 4 was delayed and ultimately scrapped in favor of starting over, it felt like the wind got knocked out of fans across the world. However, it had actually led the way to strengthening the Metroid brand, if you ask me. It paved the way for Metroid Dread to take front stage and allowed for a re-release of Metroid Prime 1. It gave new players a shot to see Samus in her 2D roots and to revisit the cult classic Prime series for the first time. My brother was the one talking to me about how he was convinced Metroid Prime 4 would be a launch title for whatever the next Nintendo console was. But there's still a few things I have to see first before I can guarantee something. For starters, what is Nintendo's plan for Metroid Prime 2? That could just as easily be the launch title, depending on how things line up. I see no reason for Nintendo to leave money on the table with regards to Metroid Prime 2, except to finish and release Metroid Prime 4. Secondly, we need an official timeline for this Switch 2. If Nintendo releases Metroid Prime 2 Remake this year and starts teasing the Switch 2 later this year, I could absolutely see Metroid Prime 4 being a launch title for the next generation of Nintendo. Okay, so this next category is hard to describe, but if you've played a Nintendo console in the last two decades, you're going to know what I'm talking about. The tech demo turned full game. Think back to Wii Sports, and even recently we can look at the Switch. The Switch had ARMS, 1-2 Switch, and a game called Snipper Cuts, I believe. So you get what I'm saying. These games are hard to predict a title or what it's about or so forth, you know? But they're almost always there. So I suspect the same will be true for this next Switch. Especially if we don't go with the Switch 2 and the same gimmicks. Now, I think people would love a new Switch. They literally just want a more powerful version of it. That's why I think even a Switch Pro would work. So I say, rock with the same gimmicks. And in that case, we could see something like 1-2 Switch Part 2 where you just show off more of the capabilities and how it's a beefier console. You know, things of that nature. So, you get what I'm saying? A Wii Sports, a 1-2 Switch. Something that's hard to really predict what it is as opposed to like a new Mario game. But you absolutely get what I'm saying. Next up, guys, we need a party game. I'm not banking on a new Smash Bros. for a while. So I think the next obvious pick is Mario Kart 9. This is assuming we don't see one on the Switch later this year in 2024. However, I think Nintendo is going to keep riding Mario Kart 8 into the ground for the rest of the Switch's lifespan. It's just doing so well, I don't see a reason to move on until you have to with the next console. Now, what if Nintendo just views Mario Kart as a games as a service, and just keeps updating it with new courses and characters as a means to sell the Nintendo Online program? Honestly. I could see that being their path forward. Alright, next up, let's tackle one of their biggest franchises, that's Pokemon. I'm confident Pokemon will be somewhere in the initial launch window of the Switch 2. For starters, depending on when it's released, they have, op they have up to four options. They can remake Pokemon Black and White, as the Switch gave us remakes of Generation 4 with uh, Diamond and Pearl. They can make the next Let's Go games, being Let's Go Gold and Silver, or maybe even something like Let's Go Espeon and Umbreon, if we're wanting to keep the Pokemon themes like Pikachu and Eevee. They can make the next Legends game, something like Pokemon Legends Mew, and do a historic Kanto where we see, finally, how that Mew got stuck under that truck all those years ago. Or if the Switch 2 is still a year or two out, we could get the next generation of Pokemon. Any of these options are exciting to me. I feel like a strong contender is the new Legend series, as revisiting Kanto is always a safe bet, and this would be a version of Kanto that we've never seen before. And guys, that's just your, I dare say, main series. There's always stuff like Pokemon Snap, 
uh, Pokin, right? I mean, there's so many Pokemon options. We talked earlier about how the Switch hasn't gotten a new Mario Kart title. That's not the only Nintendo franchise to have its previous entry ported over to the Switch and then not receive a new installment. Donkey Kong is on this list as well, as the Switch brought with it Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. However, its main addition here was Funky Kong representing an easy mode. Donkey Kong has long been considered the hard platformer when compared to Super Mario, Yoshi, and Kirby. So porting it over and only adding an easy mode didn't really feel very much in the Donkey Kong spirit. Bringing the Big 8 back for a new adventure would appeal to hardcore gamers looking for a challenge. Not to mention Tropical Freeze is beloved and well received. So Donkey Kong, it just makes sense. Now, I'm not even going to mention F-Zero and give you guys hope. I do think eventually we get a Luigi Mansion related tie-in to go with a potential Luigi's Mansion movie. Animal Crossing is another game I fully expect at some point. Just probably not during the release window. Kirby, Pikmin, and Yoshi all got titles on the Switch. So again, they probably won't get releases right out of the gate. I'm interested to see if Splatoon stays on rotation or if it's just a Switch only franchise. I absolutely feel like they should keep bringing it back. They're Nintendo's Call of Duty. So I think Splatoon occupies a very important and valuable role. They should either release a new one or just bring over Spl Splatoon 3 to whatever the new console is. I think it should be viewed in the same light as, as an online staple as Smash Brothers and Mario Kart are. Alright, with all that said, there's only two more franchises I want to talk about today. The first one is Zelda. Zelda is probably the trickiest one. You just released Tears of the Kingdom, so it's about seven years too early to think about the next installment. And with no intent to release DLC, an Ultimate Edition seems kind of unlikely. Meaning, if the plan is to port Tears of the Kingdom 2 over, or Tears of the Kingdom over to the Switch 2, you're essentially just re-releasing it with maybe better graphics and such. Or, they could finally release the much longed for Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD combo pack that they've been hinting at for about five years now. It's hard to imagine Zelda not being a part of the next launch window as Zelda releases have become almost synonymous with new consoles at this point. I mean, think about, uh, I think Twilight Princess was pretty early in the Wii and then obviously Breath of the Wild was with the Switch. So we've kind of been doing this, you know. However, depending on the timeline, they may not have anything left in the chamber with the launch of a new console. Lastly is Super Mario Odyssey 2. And it's worth noting, I only think it'll be called Odyssey 2 if the console is the Switch 2. If the gimmick changes at all, I think it will get a different name. As Mario games typically do not get sequels. Mario 64. Groundbreaking. No sequel. Mario Sunshine. No sequel. Mario Galaxy did, but it was on the same console. Odyssey was a smash hit, planting Mario back on top of the gaming mountain, yet nothing as far as a sequel goes. Now, we just got another 2D game with Super Mario Wonder, so I don't think the Switch 2 will launch with a 2D Mario game. I think that sets up for a 3D Mario game. So those are the games I wanted to talk about. You may notice that most of these titles are a part of long-running Nintendo franchises that Nintendo has already created and grown at this point. I don't think Nintendo will try too many new things with IPs. They will want to launch the console with franchises that are tried and true, such as your Marios and Pokemons. I do think new IPs will come about in the form of tech demos, as previously discussed. The Switch launched with three Nintendo published games, Breath of the Wild, 1-2 Switch, and Snipper Clips. Two tech demos and a Zelda game. And I think it's likely you're going to see something very similar, only substitute Zelda with Metroid Prime 4 or Odyssey 2 instead of Zelda. As a final note, Sega is in the middle of a revival. It would be wild 
If Sega and Nintendo partnered up to release like five or ten new Sega games right out of the gate for the next console. If Nintendo really wanted to steal the show, then release the Switch 2 around holiday season. I think Sony and Microsoft released their latest consoles around September. With Metroid Prime, Mario Odyssey 2, and Mario Kart 9. And then say, oh yeah, and by Christmas, Tears of the Kingdom will be ported over, and we'll have a new Pokemon game out in November. They would own the holiday season, and it wouldn't even be close. That's probably expecting too much, but in my opinion, that's the ultimate mic drop. So, thank you guys for watching. When do you think we'll see the next Nintendo console? What do you think it'll be called? Will it have any new gimmicks? Or will it just be the Switch, but, you know, souped up? And most importantly, what do you guys think will be the launch titles? Subscribe if you like content like this, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.